Bandicoot Smash! What's up ladies and gentlemen, duders of all ages, welcome back to another simulator review. Today we're going to take a look at Forest Ranger. Now the Steam reviews on this game are pretty mixed. There's a lot of positive reviews and a lot of negative reviews. I didn't read them, I skipped over them because I wanted to make the impression myself. I wanted to feel what this game was like, see if it's good and if there are a lot of things wrong with it, I don't know. We're going to see what happens. This video is not sponsored because nobody sponsors this channel, I'm too small. Anyways. Let's take a look. There's some interesting settings in here. You've got the regular stuff, but you also have the ability to play with your day length and night length. I did play this for about 20 minutes before, and the day seemed to go quite fast, so I've set it to three hours for now just to test it out. I want to get all this stuff figured out and cleaning. So let's get in there, and we're going to start on sandbox mode. And I want to tell you guys right away there is a lot of reading to do in this game. So if you don't like reading, you're probably not going to like this. This is just a little bit of a spoiler here. Look at all this reading to do. There's so much of it. But there's some pretty cool things in this. Some pretty cool aspects. Whoops, don't hit escape because it'll send you right back to the main menu. And you're going to get hit with even more stuff. So how do I get out of this? Okay, there we go. Close. Um, so in order to pick up all the garbage, which you obviously have to do because there is a ton of garbage, um, you hit Q. Now... One of the cool things about this is if you separate each of the garbage, you will get a bonus. Dang it. Did I just I just made it a mixed bag. Rats. But the problem is if you throw a mixed bag, you get negative points or negative dollars. So try your best not to do that. I don't really understand why you get negative points. It probably tells you somewhere there's a lot of reading to do. Pardon me for the yawning. I have not been sleeping very well. I'll try and do my best to edit that out. But we're going to walk around and we're going to pick up some of this garbage. And just as an example, we're going to pick up all this orange garbage. Which is metal and plastic, I believe. Alright. And if you find some nice items on the ground, which I'm going to show you, are speakers and like a DVD player or something, or a radio or an amplifier, do not throw them out, because that is going to be something that you can sell. And it took me a couple of... What? Hey! Into the garbage. There we go. Woohoo! All right, so we've got a nice speaker here. This is what I'm talking about. Now, in order to pick something up, you have to hold down the left mouse button. And to rotate it, obviously, you use the middle mouse wheel. And if you want to switch the rotation, you just click on the middle mouse wheel. Middle mouse wheel. Man, why was that a tongue twister? And then you can do that. Now, the only thing is, I don't know where to sell these. Uh, I don't know if it's like a spot you put it down. I'm just going to stick it there for now. Sell. Is it there? It's not there. But we have an email. And it's more stuff. Please note, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so basically it tells you to buy stuff you need right here. So necessities. I'm going to get a flashlight, and I'm going to buy a hammer, because I think we got to break some stuff. Uh, I'm going to buy a crowbar and an axe, and I think that's all I'm going to worry about right now. I'm not sure if you get to mill your own wood, um, but there is wood here to buy. I think that's wood. The problem I'm finding here is that nothing's really descriptive. Mm, pardon me, there's nothing really descriptive. So it's it's a little bit annoying that you can't see exactly what you're buying or how much of what you're buying. Um, one of the other things is is it kind of dumps all the things you order. Kind of, They just end up sprawled out on the floor here. So I'm going to stick this here because I have a feeling this is the area you put things to sell. But there's no real indication. Hmm... Uh, so yeah, I'm going to run around. I'm going to clean up some stuff. Let's see. I'm going to show you guys another example. Grab the green stuff. And as you can see in the bottom left corner there, it's creating a green bag. As before, it was creating a uh, orange bag. So you take this over to the green bin. And you throw it in and you get bonus money. Stuff like this again. There's a lamp. It looks like it can be sold. Doesn't look too bad. All right, so we're going to take that over here. I, again, have no idea where to put this, but I'm going to do some more reading because I think there's more than likely some info on this. It's just there's so much reading. Mercy. 
And I think that is one of the downsides, just for me. So, see right there, that was showed you that it was in the computer, on the left side of the screen there with the tutorial. It said that the bins that you need are in the necessity tab, but they're not in the necessity tab. So maybe it's something that they unlock later. Um, but there you go, there's a black bag. So let's see. Now, that was a black bag, which goes in the black bin, and it's a mixed trash, but it gives you negative money, which is kind of annoying, and I don't really understand why. And now I've been picking up, let's see, the the stuff that has got a white outline, and I'm going to test this out and throw it in the black bin and see what happens. Okay, so that gave me a bonus. That's very strange. I don't really understand that because that black bag was clearly black and it got minus points. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. And there's no blue bin yet and there's no purple bin, so we can't get rid of those. They're just going to end up laying there until we can manage to get one. Uh, so let's just keep continuing because there's garbage everywhere. Like when I say there's garbage everywhere, look at the map. All these little piles here, that's all garbage. And it's basically strewn throughout the park. But one of the cool aspects of this game, as you can see, is there's little circles with mushrooms. And the cool thing is, is you can actually go and forage the mushrooms. And then you cook them, which is really nice. But I have no idea how to do that stuff. It's going to take a, a little bit of a while to learn how to play this game, I think. Uh, it's quite difficult. Uh, so if you're not into that sort of thing, this game probably isn't for you. But if it is, give it a check. You might actually really like it. Okay, so something else I want to point out to you guys is if you are struggling with this game and trying to figure out what to do, there is actually a built-in wiki. So all you do is you hit your tab, and you've got your equipment here. you got your skills that you can work on and unlock. And then you've got the forest wiki. So this is exactly what I was talking about. So if you're actually struggling with any aspect of this game, you can look up how to do things, which I think is a great... Uh, a great option again i'm not really much of a big reader and when i play simulator games i just kind of want to get in there and play it you know you kind of just go with you know your natural instinct but i guess there's a lot of more complicated things in this game so you do have to go through this and again it's a lot it's a lot of reading so if you guys are okay with that then this game is definitely for you so house repair you got your quests there okay so the basically the quest is to fix your house that's it notes you got your notes here, and then your stats, okay? And then your map. Fairy dice. Earlier, where they have all of the stuff that you ordered just kind of thrown into this one room. And I could have sworn I got a flashlight too, but I don't see it here. Could it be buried? Where's my flashlight? Did I not get a flashlight? Or is that it right there? Oh man, that's not a flashlight, but they're so hard to see. Mercy. It's got to be around here somewhere. Apparently not. Maybe it rolled off somewhere. What if I use my search? I still don't see it. Hmm. Now I did read through the the, the like the uh, the thing about selling an item, uh, but it's not specific on where to place the item in order to sell it. It says the item will be highlighted green. Uh, but when you go to click it, there's nothing there. So maybe the things that I found aren't worth selling, but they look brand new. Uh, the only problem is when you highlight them, they just show them as red, as in they go into the red bin. And the items that are highlighted green are recyclables. So a little bit of confusion there. I think that should be changed. I don't know. What do you guys think? Really nice job on the scenery in this game. Absolutely beautiful. I just think from my first impressions, I think this may need to be simplified a little bit because I think it's very complicated. And for somebody like me that plays games casually, this may not be the best for a casual gamer. Um, but not bad. Here's some mushrooms that we can forage that we take back to our place and we can eventually, I guess, prepare and cook. So I'm just going to stock up on these because I'm pretty sure hunger is a factor in this game that you need to worry about. But uh, yeah, we're going to run through this because if you look at the map, there is a ton of garbage all over the place. And it's kind of neat, actually, that they have a progression meter around them so that you can see just how much is left in that area. So if you miss something, 
you can always come back and check it out. And I'm looking, and at the bottom right corner, apparently I've just picked up three kilograms of mushrooms, and I've placed them into my basket. So let's see if we can find another spot with garbage here. Oh, there's a spot right over here, apparently. I don't see it. Oh yeah, here's all the garbage. That's an interesting... Wow! This is the dirtiest campground I have ever seen. Mercy. Are they you like this? I haven't been camping in a long time. But uh, I don't remember this much garbage ever. And I used to camp a lot when I was growing up. I kind of miss it, actually. Uh, something else that would be kind of a little bit annoying. I, it would be nice if they'd actually, uh, it, just in my personal opinion, remove that feature where it's all different colored. Because you kind of have to keep running back. And you can't switch bags that I that I know of. Maybe you can. I didn't see any instructions in there about switching bags. So like once you fill up your yellow bag, you'd have to run all the way back to camp or drive all the way back to camp. Uh, something else that's kind of messed me up a little bit is I threw some green stuff into the green bin. And it uh, gave me negative points. So I'm not sure if that's something that needs to be fixed. By the way, guys, again, I want to point out this is an early access game. So I'm sure there's a lot of things they still need to iron out. But as it stands, it's a very cool game. I found my flashlight, but I could have sworn it wasn't there yet. So maybe it wasn't. Woohoo! Equip these. I go to my equipment here. And it seems to be on the action bar. But I'm not sure how to open the action bar. It's uh, it's, it's a little strange. I used the mouse wheel, and I, I've tried looking through the, the, the instructions, but couldn't really find anything. But I did find a birdhouse over here to try, and it says to put the seed in there. Now, I'm not quite sure if you have to open the seed first. Close. Remove. Wait, so... Assign to a slot. Equip. Equip. Oh, hang on. Oh, there we go. Okay, so you've got to equip it in order to put it in. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. So that's all we have to do is just close. I'm going to remove that. And equip it. And I guess that's full. Okay, so I'm just going to put it back in my inventory. How do I put it back in my inventory here? All right, so let's see. Uh, assigned to a slot. Okay, we're just going to put it into a s slot. Okay, maybe drop item? Okay, and then... Wait a minute. What's going on here? Now I can't pick it up. Uh, have I lost this bag of... And now my hands are stuck in a grabbing position. What's, what's going on here? Hold on. So I'm going to try and pick up that bird seat again. And see if I can get that. Uh, okay, so now that's back in my inventory. Can I now equip an axe? Actually, let's equip the sledgehammer. Where'd that sledgehammer go? Equip. All right, uh, that's not a sledgehammer. It's just a hammer. I thought I had a sledgehammer. Can I? Hmm. Okay, so you can't use that. So we'll unequip it. You can't equip it. Oh, there we go. Okay. No, it's still equipped. Uh, if I drop the item, I then have to pick it back back up again, and now I can't pick it up again. So I'm going to show you what I did. Out to the menu. Okay, and so that's that's a little annoying. Um, I can't pick up that. Mercy. Okay, <laughs> I'll keep. I'm going to keep trying to figure some of these things out because some of the instructions aren't very clear as well. So, oh, where does this go? I'd like to find my truck too, or if I wonder if that's something you have to buy, or if it's something that comes later on. But it's so neat. There's like trails and stuff you can go on. See, I I like this part of it. It's this is kind of neat, just to like exploring and whatnot. And I want to see if there's some buildings on the map too. Okay, so that's where the camp is right here. That's a beehive. I don't see any other buildings, but the map does seem to feel quite big, even though it may not look like it. Uh, on the the map itself and it says wildlife comes out at night so I may have to do a little bit of playing at night as well there's some cool little bridges I wonder if you have to fix these no that seems okay very nice like the scenery is beautiful so something very cool is I found an Atari and a retro TV we're gonna have this thing set up and gaming in no time baby We'll be playing on a 10-inch screen with massive speakers. <laughs> 
So after looking at the emails here, it looks like we're going to need a fire extinguisher. So, oh, mercy. Okay, let's buy a fire extinguisher. Necessities. It must be in the necessities here. And, uh, yeah, I guess there is only uh, a hammer, not a sledgehammer. So maybe the crowbar is what you use to break stuff. So I'm going to buy my fire extinguisher here. And I'm pretty sure we've got a crowbar. So let me just see if I can equip this crowbar real fast. Is that what you use to break stuff? Because I figured crowbars were for prying stuff. All right. Yeah, not really sure what's going on there. But uh, we're going to have to drop this now. Because there's no unequip. There should be an unequip. And I shouldn't have to keep going out to the main menu. And yeah, that that's a bit annoying. Um, so let's see. I'm going to see if we can buy some nails on the store here. Which I'm thinking you probably can. Spare parts? No? Oh, there's the truck. It's $250. What is that thing? Oh, it's like a gear shift, maybe? <laughs> wow, so you can fix your car and stuff, too. So also right here beside the cabin, there is a work table of sorts, and you can build some birdhouses if you want, which is also very cool. I don't think I have the materials for it, so you need some nails, and you need a bundle of sticks. This one needs a bundle of sticks times two. So very, very neat. I don't know uh, how to do that just yet, but uh, I'm sure... I hope I have the patience to continue playing this because this review might end up being a little bit short. Well, this is kind of cool. I've noticed that there's now birds flying around the bird feeder, but unfortunately, none of them are stopping to eat. They're just kind of like, yay, bird seed, and then they're just flying around all happy. Um, so it's kind of a, a little bit sad to see that they're not interacting with this. Hopefully it'll be something that'll come in the next update or in an update in the future. It'd be kind of nice to see. I'm also noticing that there's stuff on the ground that you can't interact with that appears to be garbage. And I'll give you an example aside from that piece of wood there. There's a can right here that isn't highlighted, nor can I pick it up. So I'm a little bit curious about that. Oh, and it looks like our delivery of our fire extinguisher, which I already had, which I could have noticed myself, but didn't. Um, I'll save that right here. Yeah. Mm. To be honest, guys, I'm kind of losing interest really fast. Um, in terms of a simulator game, this is very cool, but I'm, I'm struggling to stay interested. Now, this could just be me. I think they did an amazing job on some of the things that they've they've shown or have, that I've shown in this video so far. Like the scenery is beautiful. The whole aspect and the whole part of, you know, having like so much control in this game is very neat, but I'm finding it hard to stay interested in this. I do have ADHD, and so if you have ADHD, this might also not be a game for you. But I I'm not I want to frown on it because I think this game has a lot of potential. I think it just needs to be simplified a little bit, especially for somebody like me. Somebody may not feel the same as me. There are people that do love this game and it's it's easy to see why. But for somebody like me, I'm just kind of losing interest in it really fast. But uh, what I'll do now is I'm going to do a jump cut to the nighttime because apparently that's when the predators and the dangerous beasts come out. So I'm going to do a jump cut to the nighttime because I want to see what that aspect looks like at least. Oh, okay. And I did see something earlier about trees that have red X's on them are ones that you can chop down. So I kind of want to test this out. Oh, it's going to... What? That's it? And one of them is stuck to my forehead. So now, do you continue to chop it? Why did it cost me $10 to cut down a tree? It said the, the ones with X's you can chop. Hmm. But it, it cost me money to chop down a tree. Pretty sure it doesn't happen like that in real life. Unless you cut down something that, you know, you're not supposed to cut down. Um, okay, so now let's, let's drop it on the floor. And, uh, mercy, these buttons, I tell you. Okay, so drop, go out to the main menu, come back in, pick up your axe, and then you've got to basically carry all this wood back or put it in your truck. Uh, I've also sped up the daytime to about five minutes so that we can get into nighttime, and it seems to be happening quite quick. I'm super excited because I wonder if we're going to see a Sasquatch. That'd be cool. See if there's a Bigfoot running around in this forest. 
Mercy, it's going to get kind of scary, and it's already scary. Oh, my goodness. I have nowhere to sleep, too, and what in the number, dude, is happening to my screen? Is What's the deal? Does this just mean I'm tired or what? I want to run around and see stuff. Okay. This is even creepier, man. Mercy. Can you imagine walking through the forest like this with your eyes like this? Tunnel vision. So let's go up here and order a sandwich. Because <laughs> maybe I can eat a sandwich. See, to buy a sandwich. Necessities. That I would say a sandwich is definitely a necessity. Yes. Give me, you know what? Give me two. I'm hungry. And now I've got to wait for however long it's going to, oh, now my eyes are fine. What's the deal? All right, well, let's head out and see if we can find some scary beasts. This should be fun. Oh, mercy. This is creepy. And I love it. Except when my flashlight flickers. I wonder if maybe we should traverse off the road because maybe the, the, the predators don't come to the road. So let's head down into the forest, and I literally have no idea where I'm going right now, and I love it. It's creepy. What about the night sky? Is there any night sky? What? Where's the stars? No stars? Oh man, I was hoping there'd be a really nice night sky. Oh, I'm out of energy, and I have found more garbage. I do not want to pick up garbage. This should be garbage pick up, pe garbage picker up or simulator. I wonder if I should make that the thumbnail. Garbage picker up or simulator. Oh, there's a campfire. Is this a campfire? No, that looks like a stump. All right, where's the cougars and the bears and the Sasquatch? Oh, that's kind of a cool shot, actually. Cuckoo. Oh, my sandwich. Ah, oh, well, I don't really need it right now, but I am getting close to needing it. Okay, where am I on the map here? It's It does seem like a fairly large honey, honey gathered. What? Where did I get honey from? No wildlife. I'm going to run around for a little bit more, so I'm going to do a jump cut here and see if I can manage to find some kind of beast. All right, well, I've, I've walked far enough to uh come to a fence and i see some street lights there so i imagine there's a highway over there i don't think we can get there but uh, i'm not too, too sure but i have not come across a single predator or a beast yet feeling very disappointed and i think it's almost morning time so hmm well, I guess I'll end the review here, guys. Uh, if you guys enjoyed that, please let me know. If you want to try this game out for yourself and see if you can make it a little further than me, you can. There will be a link down below. Check it out for yourself. I love your beautiful faces. God bless you, and I will see you again very soon.